and demonstrating constructions. And I'm going to start with a nice easy triangle and let's take 7 centimeters, um, 9 centimeters, and 11 centimeters to produce a scaling triangle. And I'm going to begin with the largest length, the 11 centimeters, and draw a line that is going to be my baseline and 11 centimeters long. I'm using a 2B pencil for effect, but traditionally one uses a harder, sharper pencil. So I've drawn a line and now I'm going to mark off the 11 centimeters for my first line segment. So that part of the line is now 11 centimeters. The next one I'm going to take is the 9 centimeter line. So now I need to measure out 9 centimeters. And I measure 9 centimeters using my compasses and I measured on the ruler the, R, the width of the compasses to be 9 centimeters. Now I make a good impression on the um, one end of the line and swing an arc to be 9 centimeters from that point. So the arc I've drawn is 9 centimeters from that point and because the compasses stay roughly the same any point on that arc will be 9 centimeters from this point. Now the third line which is 7 centimeters so again I open my compasses to 7 centimeters and it can never be awfully accurate with this sort of rather cheap equipment, the sort of thing you'd be using yourself. So I put the compass point on the other end of the line Again, using the top of the compasses, swing an arc from that point. So any point on this arc, because the compasses stay the same, should be 7 centimeters from that point. So this point where they cross is 7 centimeters from that end and 9 centimeters from that end, which gives me the completed triangle. So all I need to do now is join those three points for my side 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 construction of a triangle. The second thing I'm going to demonstrate is the perpendicular bisector of a line. So I'm going to draw a simple line segment and mark off at say 14 centimeters. So I've drawn a simple line segment and a simple line and marked off a line segment of 14 centimeters and I want to bisect it. Open a pair of compasses to anything slightly more than halfway. Um, I shouldn't be using a ruler. I'll just visualize halfway and put the point one end of the paper and swing an arc one end of the line and swing an arc above and an arc below. So I've got two arcs from that end of the paper and do the opposite from the, do the same from the opposite end, swing an arc and swing an arc. Now points on this arc will be the same distance from this end and points on these arcs will be the same distance from that end. So the points where the arcs intercept should be the same distance from each end of the triangle and I simply join those together and I have the perpendicular bisector of the triangle. The third one is the bisection of an angle. So I'm going to draw any simple angle, I'm going to draw an acute angle, it really doesn't matter at all, and an angle is simply that thing formed by two lines intersecting. So I have drawn any angle and they intersect at this point. Open the compasses again to any size you like, too large makes them a bit unwieldy, um, too small is too difficult. Put the point on the intersection of the lines and swing arcs to cut both 
lines of the angle. Now, I can move the compasses at this point if I need to, but I don't really. Put the points on the two intersections I've just made and swing arcs between the two lines on the two points of intersection I've just created. And this point created by the, the final pair of arcs is the one I need to join to the original point to create my bisector of the angle. That's the bisection of an angle. Whoa!